NDTV's campaign joined by lakhs of you to save the tiger seems to have had an immediate policy effect. But the question being asked is, will this new roadmap be a roaring success? The first meeting of the heads of national parks and tiger reserves after the latest tiger census. They agreed on a roadmap to save the big cat. Now each tiger reserve will have to identify a buffer zone to ease man-animal conflict. This provision in the Wildlife Act will be enforced after 30 years. Tiger Reserve states will have to sign a memorandum to strengthen conservation efforts. The meeting agreed that the civil society should be involved in tiger conservation, a fact highlighted by a recent NDTV campaign. It was also agreed that villagers living in tiger reserves will have to be duly compensated and rehabilitated elsewhere. There are proposals to set up a national tiger protection force and conduct a special recruitment drive of forest guards with support from the centre. The issue of preparation of tiger conservation plan and getting an indicative plan by emphasized. Mm -hmm. So this has given us a good chance to interact and come out with a strengthened roadmap for tiger conservation in the country. According to the latest census, India has only 1411 tigers, but some say it's impossible to find the exact figure. Earlier method, if there was some flaw in that, mm -hmm. that must have given a population by that methodology, mm. now you are having more sensitive methodology. Mm. So you are coming to a particular type of population. There is no sign that the population has come down. Mm. That is not the reason, because the earlier method was different. Divided on the methodology adopted in the latest tiger survey, but united on the desperate need of specialized forces for tiger protection. But the question is, will the latest roadmap of tiger conservation lead us anywhere? In Kanha National Park with cameraman Zwan Khan, Rubina Khan, Shapu, NDTV.